Most expensive drink I ever had was in uh, Scotland. There I was drinking with the master distiller at Glenfiddich. And we're working our way up the scotch ladder. We had the 12-year-old, the 15, the 25-year-old scotch. And he's like, you know what? Hold on one second. I'll be right back. And he goes back into the office, goes into the safe, and pulls out a $10,000 bottle of 50-year-old scotch. And he brings it out in this beautiful bottle, and he poured it. It looked amazing, and it smelled fantastic. And we drank it, and it tasted like scotch. <laughs> I don't, know, I don't know what you guys want there. Um, oh, it tasted like Jesus peeing in my mouth. But, well, but old Jesus, not baby. You know what? I'm not helping out this situation. But you know, look, it's like, look, it, did it taste better? I don't know. It tasted different. But I think we have this fascination with the, the older it is, the more time it spends in a barrel, the better it is, the more expensive it is. I don't know. I don't know if that's just marketing or, or if it's actually true. Like, I had the 25-year-old. It was good. The 50-year-old, it was good. It just tasted a little bit older than the 25-year-old. It's like my buddy's like, Zane, if you like my sister, you got to meet my grandmother because <laughs> she, she's, a, she's, a old, she's an old lady. And she has trouble with the stairs. And she sleeps in the cellar, and she smells like old wood. And I think you'd like her. That's what I'm just saying. <laughs>